Did you know you can use these in Studio One? Yeah, so these are the Apple AirPod Pros, and la two months ago, I was working on a new single that I was releasing, and I wanted to do some basic, like, basic editing, some kind of cleaning up the mix, getting some things prepared, but I didn't feel like coming up here to the studio, and I was on my laptop, which is coincidentally my studio computer as well. So I opened up Studio One, and I was actually just too lazy to even come to the studio and grab a set of headphones, so... I clicked in Studio One and realized, hot dog, I can connect to my AirPods, which were in my pocket. So let me show you how that works. So if I take one of these out, put it in my ear, um, first I need to make sure I've connected it to my computer so it already is connected. And if you click down here on your device setup, so we're on the start page, and we take a look down here, whoa, <laughs> holy zoomy, um, right here under the setup, we should see, you should see your audio interface here. Bonus, if you use Persona's hardware, it shows up as a cute little picture. Um, but if we click on this, it should open up a window uh, that looks familiar. This is the audio setup page. Under the audio device tab, we can see this. Now, if I click on this playback device here, I should be able to see all of my audio devices on this computer. I don't currently see my AirPods. Let me put both of them in, see if that makes a difference. Okay, now they're both connected. So if I click this again, there we go. My AirPods, which are connected via Bluetooth to my computer as a Bluetooth audio device, they now show up in this list of playback devices. So when I click here, it takes a moment and it does a couple of things. First of all, it turns the recording device off because you can't record with these. Even though they have a microphone, Bluetooth would be terrible for recording because Bluetooth inherently has a good bit of latency to it. There's no way around it. Maybe they'll figure out a way, but uh, if you wanted to record with Bluetooth headphones, it's not gonna happen. You need wired headphones for that because you'll hear it right away. With Bluetooth headphones, you could play a note and you would hear it back a long time later. There's too much latency to make that feasible. See here, it's 165 milliseconds. That's just the nature of the beast. So. However, for just listening back, for doing editing, and even for doing mixing, or even mastering, I suppose, you can use these just fine. So now I have the airports, the AirPods selected. Now all I have to do, I can open up a song, for example, that song that I was working on last month or two months ago, and from my computer, I can listen to everything the way I listen to a lot of music, right? I can hit play here, and you can't hear what's happening, but I can hear it in my AirPods. So, audio device and you've always thought man I wish I could use this in studio one but you never thought to look to see if it's possible turns out it is so to review open up preferences go to audio setup audio device make sure your Bluetooth device is connected to your computer and then choose it from the drop down of playback devices inside of studio one all right that is it for me happy mixing see ya